Well, as you can probably hear, the wind's blowing very strong today. Uh, hopefully, according to the satellite, this is the end of the front that hit us yesterday or, light, or early morning. And out to sea in that direction to the south, to the sort of southwest, there should be some sun coming at about two hours' time. So I thought I'd set up early, clean up the pond a little bit. As you can see, I've already set up the lid, blowing around here. I've cleaned up the area a little bit, ready for some photography. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It helps all the algorithms on YouTube, especially if you leave a like and a comment. It all helps it get up more so more people see the channel. I'd like to say a big thank you, as always, to my sponsor, Isabel, who helps with the food every month. Especially this time of year, the birds are just chomping it up. Every two days now, it's gone. Anyway, I'm going to get in the hide and see how it goes. Hopefully, we should have a few of the migratory uh, warblers coming through today. But although there's a lot of water in the area from the rain we've had the last three days, um, the food should attract them. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm in the hide straight away as usual. The first few birds have come down, but uh, I mean it's started to rain again. It's the end of this uh, front, as I said, that came in this morning early. Obviously at the end of it we're going to get a bit more rain, but uh, it's okay here in the hide. It's not that waterproof, but it stops the rain coming. As long as it's light rain like this and not torrential rain, we're okay. But as you can see, the birds are already coming down for the food that I put up on the little tray in the tree. A couple of green finch, there's a few up in the tree above as well. As you can see though, by the pond, so I can catch the focus on it here. There we go. As you can see, it's, it's a very light rain. But uh, I think it's going to keep away the birds for a little while until it stops. But uh, as I said, in about an hour's time it should stop and we should have some birds come through. Some more finches, green finch have come down here. As I said, these little pieces of bark, if you can get hold of any, if you have a pond, they're great because these old bark from the cork trees, they really do hold the seeds well in between the gaps, stops it blowing away and the birds love to pick it out from between the, um, the actual little gaps in the cork bark. It's obviously a much more natural way than putting feeders down for them. Oh dear, the rain seems to be getting much heavier. The hide, as I said, is not 100% waterproof, it's sort of semi-waterproof, so... And the wind's building up really strong as well. Whoa! This is obviously coming to the end of the... of the front that came in yesterday. They always, it normally gets really bad just before the sun comes in, so... But I think we've still got another hour and a half of this yet. We've still got some birds braving it, like the little stone chats and the green finch for the uh, for their uh, food. But uh, I think I may even pull the camera inside, even though it's protected with a waterproof cover outside. I don't want to get the lens wet on the front, so if this rain builds up much more, I'm going to have to pull it in. And we got the little stone chat sitting in the bush, <laughs> just out of the wind because the wind, as you can hear, is very strong. He's just sitting there quite happily, waiting for the wind to drop probably before he takes off and flies or comes to get some more food. I just had a little warbler disappear into the bush as well, but uh, everything's hiding inside the bush with this wind at the moment, so hopefully they'll all come out as soon as this breaks and the sun comes out. As I said, as the wind drops, I thought it'd come down. So the little stone chat's just come out the bush as the wind's dropped a little bit. And he's come down for some food. And we've got a green finch singing away there up in the tree. 
And as the winds come up again, he's left the food and gone into the bush, <laughs> sitting in between the, in a little area, in a pocket in the bush where the wind doesn't hit him. Clever little buggers they are, lovely birds. This one actually came down and, and was taking the food as I was putting it on the floor. It got so used to me. It was literally within probably 30, 40 centimeters away from my foot taking the food originally when I first put the food down. Some of these birds have got used to me bringing the food over the years. And uh, obviously it's, uh, it's so beautiful to see that they get the confidence to come and actually sit next to you. Have a little corn bunting here. Just come onto the top of the tall tree here in front. Singing away quite happily. I'm not at all phased. The wind's starting to drop and I can see it's starting to clear up over the back now. So it looks like the rain's going to stop. Oh, little sparrows come down and brave the rain. <laughs> I didn't think that'd be long before they'd turn up. Little female sparrow here. I've got something singing there, I'm not quite sure what it is though. One of the blackbird have come down as well now with a few of the other sparrows. As you can see. I'm surprised the blackbird didn't come down earlier. But uh, obviously this wind's keeping a lot of them away. And we got a little a young stone chat come along here some food. It's starting to feed itself now. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, chased off by, an, by the adult. <laughs> Beautiful male linnet. As you can see, it's, come, it's the breeding season now. They have this wonderful crimson chest and the little cap as well on the front of the head. Stunning. Beautiful bird, the male linnets. At least this time of year, anyway. Right. As you can see, whoops, where'd he go? There we go. Beautiful, and there's, you can see the little red cap on his head as well. Beautiful. Enjoying the food. As you can see there, there is the end of the front that came in early morning with the rain. It's blowing this way, that's the tail end of it. And there looks like blue sky afterwards as you can see. It should be here in about, I would say, looking at this, they said two hours but I reckon it'll be here within an hour. It should be nice and then we should have some nice sunshine. Well, we have the, the cow herder turning up here this morning with his dogs. He's walked and the cows, as you can see. This is one of the things in Portugal that you have to put up with, I'm afraid, all the time. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of these around here in the countryside. But uh, hopefully now you've seen me at the pond, he'll avoid the area. As you can see, they're coming a little bit closer than hoped. <laughs> no cattle eager with them either today. But uh, as you can see, the, uh, the cows are coming much closer than I hoped they would. It's uh, not very conducive for the birds at the pond, but not much I can really do about it. I have to wait. At least it's not sunny yet, so the front's still going to be a while, so this is actually quite amusing to watch for a change. Well, I've just had to <laughs> come out the hide uh, and ask the, the herder to move the cattle. One of them came up and started, I don't know whether it was nibbling on the back of my hide, he thought it was a bush, or he was just pushing it to see what it was. 
but he got a bit of a shock when I opened up the hide. You should have seen this cow's face. It was quite funny. <laughs> it was actually hilarious. It ran a mile. But I don't know who was more frightened to see it, who was more sort of shocked to see each other, whether it was him seeing me or me seeing the cow that close when I opened the hide. At any rate, the, the herd has moved them to the other side now and he's going into the field, so hopefully it should get a bit quiet and we should get some birds come in now. Oh, little woodchuck shrikes come along. Beautiful. I do like these birds. They're always around this time of year. Hopefully we get a grey shrike. I saw one the other day in Largus, so hopefully one will come along today here. Oh, the first Thekla's lark. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> and gone again. I haven't seen them yet this morning, but uh, seem a bit skittish today. I think it's the wind. And he's back again. And he's gone again. My God, they're quick today. Ah, he's found the seeds on top of the piece of wood. As I said, this is the best way to feed the birds. They much prefer eating off of there. Well, as the satellite said, the front was gonna come in about nine o'clock. And there you go. It's still going to be about half an hour before it gets here, but uh, that's the end of the, the rain front. And it looks like we've got beautiful clear sky afterwards. Ah, the sun has finally broken through the cloud bank behind me. <clears throat> it's nearly an hour late, it's half past 11. But as soon as the sun's hit the ground, the birds are all coming out. Everyone's arrived at once as soon as the sun's out. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice with the sun out. One, it's warmed up the hide a little bit because the sun on the back of the hide has taken that chill off the air so it's, it doesn't feel like it's 10 degrees anymore. <laughs> it's been freezing all morning. And it's nice to see that the birds still come to the pond to drink even though there's lots of puddles around. Obviously they've got used to the fresh water here all the time. Beautiful. Well, I was hoping that the sun coming out would have brought a few of the warblers along today. But with this wind that's come along with the sunshine, it's so cold as well still. The wind is bitterly cold. It's coming from the northwest. It's just brought all the normal birds that are in the area down to feed all the finches and a few of the sparrows and that's about it at the moment so I'm going to leave it wait about another hour before I go and see if it gets any better but uh, hopefully it'll heat up a little bit and then something else may come along well this little woodchat shrike has seemed to have made a quite a home here at the pond it's just been coming back and forth all day in the rain, now in the sunshine, it comes and sits out the wind here and just surveys the area below to see if any animals come out the ground or any insects come out the ground and it'll dive down and catch them. So, at least it's quite an interesting bird to always have here. Oh, we've got a little Sardinian warbler just turned up here. Where'd he go? Just dived into the bush. He'll come out in a second. Well, this bird, the little woodpecker's come along here. He's come down to the wire net and he's just tapping away there quite happily, eating the nuts. Oh, and he's gone. Well, it hasn't been a very productive day today as far as the birds are concerned but uh, it's been a wonderful day down here it's half past 12 quarter to one actually now I've been down here six hours today um, it was
was of as you can as you saw it was a very cloudy raining morning and it didn't clear up till quite late so that kept a lot of the birds away but either way it's still so peaceful and beautiful down here it's always worth it just to be out in the countryside with the birds and the animals around here the cows were a little bit interesting any rate that was a, that made a that made a more of a an interesting morning any rate i'm going to pack up now and please remember if you've enjoyed the video uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment and a like because it helps the algorithms on youtube and hopefully sometime next week when I get down here, I think Wednesday I'll probably be back down. If I can get back down, uh, maybe we should have some of the warblers coming through again. But with this southwest wind that blew up after the, the sun came out, it's never normally good with the southwest, uh, with the northwesterly wind. So never very good for birds. So it's going to be changing. It's going to be southwesterly on Wednesday. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, have a lovely day. Bye.